The Skywatcher Star Adventure mounts have been hugely successful. Now we add to the family of the products and the long awaited Star Adventure GTI with its go to functionality is here. And here it is. I'm lucky enough to have this in my hands right now. And this video is primarily an unboxing, showing you what is inside the box, along with some recommended accessories that would be ideal to work with the Star Adventure GTI. All right, Stuart from Optics Central here with you again. And as you can see, the smile on my face, I'm, I'm excited to open this box and see what's inside, as well as assembling this beautiful piece of equipment. The Star Adventure mount has been around for some time. You know, this is the old box, the one that we're sort of used to. Uh, it's been around for some time and allows for the landscape photographers the ability to capture incredibly long exposures uh, while the mount tracks the objects while I move in the night sky. Hmm, I wonder if there was a way to have a go-to built into these incredible mounts. Hmm. Well, you guessed it. Now we have it here. The Star Adventure GTI is now a fully featured go-to equatorial mount on a small scale. So it means it makes it ideal for those of us who are after something more portable than the traditional heavier scopes, which can weigh a significant amount of uh, weight. I will give Skywatcher some accolades here. The box has some really nice, it's got some really nice graphics on it. It's well labeled on the outside of what features there are in a concise and simple, a simple way. You know, it feels like Christmas time when I open new products, and this is one that I'm very eager to open. Well, I'm going to um, now put the cameras in position so you can watch the unboxing happen, and um, and you'll probably, when I assemble it, um, I'll, I'll control it um, with my phone. So we're at the unboxing part of it. So here we, here we are. Going to open up the box. Let's have a look. Let's do the unveiling. And as you know, there's more boxes inside boxes, so I better get myself a knife. Well, let's have a look what's in here. So, one box. That seems empty. Uh, um, that looks like that might be a weight. So I put that there, and that looks like that's the important bit. Um, put aside the big box and the empty box. Let's see what we've got in here. And what have we got here? Instructions. Don't know what that is. We'll find out what that is later. A bar that looks pretty weighty, actually. Surprised. Ooh, what have we got here? Very impressive. It's nice. USB cable. This is the tripod as well. I'll just clean up here a bit. So the tripod, move that out the way, there it is there, I think, oh here's a spreader too, there it is there. Get the mount itself. 
position them out. All right, so that's ready for me to put a uh, telescope on there. So I'll be back in a second. So I've got this all working. I've got a, I've got a Maxitoff on this. And now the next thing I guess is um, getting this thing to, to work. Well, I've got the hand control on here. Let's see what happens here. Let's hope I don't blow it up. Pretty good. In here, I've got it wired up um, with the ASI Air on a pretty decent distance from it. So let's see how it works. Wow, right away this mount looks and feels amazing. It is relatively lightweight, which would suit those of us who want to use a small wide field telescope, or those of us who you would like to just use um, use a camera. Being so small, it is ideal for those who like to travel with a portable rig. We can just throw this into our car. The Star Adventure GTI has built-in Wi-Fi and can be controlled by using the free SynScan app from the Apple or Android stores. It has a built-in polar scope with an illuminator for precise polar alignment. The intensity of light can be controlled within the app. A DSLR cable can be used to control the shutter. The critical aspect of this mount is to remember that it only has a payload of five kilograms. So it's targeted for your lightweight gear. Now, if you have heavier gear over five kilogram, then I would probably recommend the HEQ5 or the EQ6 mounts. These hold 13 kilogram and 20 kilogram payloads respectively. Um, the mount is powered by eight AA batteries. And if you need to power your mount where you're, you're nowhere near mains power, um, that comes in handy. Um, if you want to use mains, then you'll need a 12 volt DC power supply, the standard V style dovetail, so you can attach your equipment securely onto. Optic Central sell not only this mount, but a range of many other mounts. Feel free to come in, and one of our super friendly staff will set up one of these mounts and show you how it all works. So please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for reviews on a new product coming your way. So from all of us at Optic Central, we wish you clear skies, look up and enjoy the wonders of the universe.